What's up people? Welcome back to the channel. Well, after uh, managing to get through the last video I recorded, which will be up in a couple of days, uh, it's just spending its time being a uh, early access on my Patreon for now, um, I decided to reward myself with something that's going to be, in my opinion, likely to be very positive. Um, I've been asked a few times if I do a reaction to this video and uh, I figured why the hell not. This is the um, 1 million subscribers video that Ren posted a while ago and uh, no doubt it might uh, lift the spirits a bit. So before we get started as always if you feel like it give me a like on the video share the video subscribe to the channel every little bit helps and if you want to help just that little bit more head over to the patreon page and subscribe there all the money i get from my patreon page goes back into upgrading my equipment to put out some better videos for you guys so yeah head over there Chuck a couple of bucks in, you get a shout out on the video, early access, exclusives, all the usual stuff. Plus you get to uh, vote on the polls as to what videos I'll be doing. Um, and early access to that video as the people on my page are currently enjoying as of about an hour and a half ago. Well, that's about it. Let's get on with the video, shall we? So it turns out, uh, when I started playing the video, I hadn't positioned my camera correctly and it decided to be covering about that much of my face. So I figured, thankfully I'd only gotten a couple of seconds in before I noticed and uh, managed to stop the video quite quickly. So I'll restart it from here and uh, probably give a bit of a better reaction than if you couldn't see my head at all. Funny about that. Um, yeah, so here we go. I want to keep this short and sweet because I wrote something that I want to share with you. But um, first of all, I just want to say how grateful I am. Um, I've reached a million subscribers on YouTube, which is a flipping huge milestone. Um, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who supported my music over the years, whether you're n newly on board or have been here for a while. I wanted to say thank you to the YouTube reaction community who have gotten behind my stuff in a big way and really helped me reach this goal. So thank you guys. It's nice to see an artist thanking a community that, especially before I got involved with it, I heard a lot of people talking about how they were just piggybacking off you know, other people's work which I do see their point of view. However, it's not like we're profiting off these videos. Like, I don't know about anyone else if they've worked their way around it, but I don't get any monetization off my reaction videos. And to be honest, I'm not after it. If anything, I'd be happy if any monetization that came to those videos went to the artists whose work I'm reacting to. What I do this for is A, to improve myself, to improve my skills, but also to discover new music and also so that other people can discover new music because music's given a lot to me over the course of my life. It's certainly been there at the bad times it's been there at the good times i can honestly say music's likely saved my life on more than a few occasions and i'd like i just want other people to have that opportunity as well and i'm eternally grateful for the fact that i started doing it because almost right from the start i was introduced to rain's music and or as I, like, I 
don't even class, well, I class it as music, but I generally don't even call it music in my reactions. I call it his art because it's more than just music. It's storytelling. It's visual art. It's music. And so it's more than just music to me. But I would not have ever likely been exposed to it had I not went, I'm going to start doing this reaction channel. So when it comes down to it, I also think everyone else in the reaction community, regardless of what they react to, and to the artists themselves, and to Ren for actually speaking his mind and embracing a community that a lot of other artists don't. So thank you very much, Ren. And now I'm going to shut up and let you get back to it. Um, yeah, I wanted to read this 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 passage that I wrote about success. It's too much for me to remember right now, so bear with me. But yeah, success to me means that I have a responsibility that transcends me. If I have a platform where people are paying attention, then I feel like it's my duty to make that count. It's far more important than my aspirations with music and what I could personally gain. There's a saying that stuck with me recently, which was a rising tide lifts all ships. I love that quote. I always have. So many people are so focused on what they can do to get ahead that they don't realise that if we all help each other, we can all benefit. It's so true. And, you know, it's something I've been trying to impress on the people in my music scene where I'm, where I'm from and thankfully it's in a really good place at the moment but it's really good to see other artists with that point of view no wonder I like his work somehow by finding success for myself has meant that I can find success for the people around me and that makes me feel very rich I'm in a very strange position right now where I owe much of my success to the most destructive force in my life, which has been the turbulence of my physical and mental illness. The thing that has by far brought me the most pain has been a source of constant, constant inspiration, which ironically led to creations which brought me the most joy. Creating art which means something to somebody else and can potentially be a companion to somebody else in the dark justifies my own pain and I desperately needed that to be justified. There are a lot of people alive today who live in the dark. It's a place that I'm very familiar with. In the peak of my health problems, I was severely underweight. All my meals had to be restricted and blended, and I was so tired that I couldn't participate in life. I couldn't socialize, I couldn't watch films, I couldn't read. My bones constantly hurt. Even standing in the shower was excruciating and exhausting. And this went on for years, with no answers. Nobody could have ever convinced me during that time that my pain and suffering would be a source for something good because it felt insidious. Nobody could have ever convinced me that something constructive can come from hurting every day. But I'm here to tell you that if you are hurting every day, don't be afraid. One thing I know to be a certain, to be a constant law of the universe is that life is inconsistent. Life is beautiful and life is hideous. Life is kind and life is cru cruel. Dancing inside this dichotomy and inconsistency makes me know that you won't hurt forever. Whether that comes from resolution of what you're going through or acceptance of where you are, you won't hurt forever. You don't know yet whether or not your pain conceals gold. It definitely conceals wisdom, and it's definitely a catalyst for filling you with empathy. So stand strong, my friends, and don't let the darkness consume you. Because once you know the dark and become intimate with it, you become very capable of wielding the light. You could be instrumental for changing this world for the better. There's nothing humble about shrinking or doubting yourself because you are large. You can be ferocious, and you could be magnificent. For the medical industry, who too often let people fall through the cracks, it's your duty to do better. For the people living in the light, who have either stepped out of their shadow or have never had to walk beside it, 
It's your responsibility to pull out, put out untainted love. Our own greed, desire to ferociously expand and decisions rooted in self-interest can benefit ourselves in a material sense, but can be very destructive to the hive and the world around us, ultimately hurting ourselves. So we really must consider that if we're gonna step into a bright future. As humans, we have an incredible potential and it would be a shame to throw it away. So community, humanity, and changing our relationship with the natural world so it leans more towards homeostasis must be a priority, priority number one. If you're watching this and there's a knot tied up in your stomach with bitterness, anger, or hatred for your fellow human being, be with it, feel it, understand it, express it, and then let it go. You're hurting. Give yourself love, forgive yourself, and then project that love outwards and the anger will pass. We have a decision in every interaction to tilt the world towards heaven or hell, towards Jannah or Jahannam, utopia or dystopia, and some people's ideas of heaven will be another's image of hell. So tread carefully, but treat those differences with respect. Tapestries are made beautiful because of the variety and the sum of their parts. <laughs> Thank you to one million people inside this rich tapestry for the opportunity for me to try and spread my own vision of what I believe to be good. And thank you for justifying my pain. Thank you, I love you. Motherfucker, within two hours he's had me crying in sadness and now happy tears. Yeah, I kind of need to hear that one. Like, I couldn't agree more. Like, it's so good to see us and just people in general whose first thought is looking out for the people who need it. And it seems that's how he measures real success is... Have I been able to influence people in a positive way? That's a fantastic outlook. So, I would clap, but that'd be way too noisy, so I'll just do the quiet clap. You deserve every success you get, Ren. That's all I can say. Um, yeah. Thank you very much for posting that. And thank you very much for all the people who ask if I do a reaction to it. And as always, to everyone who as much as clicks on one video. They don't even need to watch all it. They don't need to like, share or subscribe or any of that garbage. As long as I've had the opportunity to expand someone's horizons thank you that's something i'm grateful for um i'm gonna wrap it up here as always do all the youtube stuff um and the patreon stuff if you'd like i definitely appreciate all of you and all the artists whose work i get to experience for the first time or the hundredth time so look after each other people in the words of bill and ted i'm not going to post the meme this time but be excellent to each other party on dudes peace out